Well, I rise to uh, just to move new, uh, to propose new cause line, which calls on the Home Office to fill the gap between the digital di di by default proof of status for under the EU settlement scheme and the realities of people's lives. And it's very typical of the Home Office to have set up a system that doesn't actually understand the interactions that people will have to make while proving their status. I do want to put on record my thanks to the Minister for speaking to me about this and for his letter of today. But some facts. I represent uh, well, in ten, over 10,000 EU citizens in Hackney, South and Shoreditch alone, and long, alongside my honourable friend, the honourable member for Hackney North and Stoke Newington, many thousands more. But in my constituency, it's 8.5% of the constituency. 60% um, of Roma people are unable to access digital proof, and there are other groups that have real problems with digital access. And just some of the cases I've had just through my own caseload, an EU citizen living in my constituency who visits France weekly for work has been interrogated by British Border Police uh, border Force every time she arrived back in the UK. Another case, uh, where a constituent whose parents are in their 70s who struggle to understand the complex process of proving their status digitally. A freelancer uh, who is another case who's had to prove his identity with every new employer, can be five or every five or six weeks. The website is sometimes down and many employers just don't want to engage and he has lost money. And another constituent who works for a charity working with the Roma, uh, which shows this figure of 60% of Roma people finding it difficult to access digital proof. I also want to thank uh, the three million who've written to me since I tabled this amendment and um, explained many of these situations, which I haven't got time to go into, but repeat the concerns of my constituents. But I'd say to the Minister, whose job I did uh, just over a decade ago, we're not so far apart on this. I too support methods that take us away from those old immigration and nationality directed folded up letters that many of my constituents still come to surgery with uh, in their wallets folded so they're falling apart. They are not a great way of proving your status in the UK. People lose passports. But there are gaps in the system, I say to the Minister, Madam Deputy Speaker. And we've seen with the Covid app how we can make a difference linking the app. Uh, linking the combining both the digital and the paper, and I wonder if the minister might want to say something at this point. Thank the honourable lady for giving way. In terms of the app-based solution, we've had it helpfully suggested by the three million, and it's something that we are we are looking at. Subject to having held my role before, she'll know the usual sort of security caveats that we would add to that. But it's certainly something we will be looking at. Madam Deputy Speaker, I, I actually I thank the Minister for that, which is a, a, a bit of a breakthrough. And I think it is important that the Home Office remembers that people will lose records. They will have places with no five pi they will, when they're travelling, they won't be able to access this. So having the Act's app opportunity for a time-limited document at least, which gives them an option to have it on paper, would be a very welcome move. On the basis of what the Minister said, and I will watch him like a hawk on this, I won't be moving my amendment to a vote tonight. But I think there are a lot of us, I thank the honourable members who signed my amendment, who have a very strong interest in this. These are EU citizens who have made their life in this country and we deserve to give them the comfort that they need so that they can go about their ordinary lives easily and effectively. Yeah.